Good morning, everyone. Here's my drawing of the test setup to test the driver IC TDE1798DP. Down here, pin 8 is VCC and pin 4 is ground. I'm powering up this IC with an external power supply set to plus 24 volts DC. Here's the output on pin 7. I've got a 24 volt DC relay. I don't show the contacts, just the coil. Here's the green LED that indicates that output is turned on. Right there is the spike suppression diode. You always want to have a spike suppression diode when you're turning on a DC relay coil when you're energizing that coil. Here are the alarm LEDs, those two red LEDs right there. Pin 6 is your alarm output sink and pin 1 is your alarm output source. Notice the orientation of the LEDs. When we're sinking to ground, the positive is up here and the cathode is right here. When we're sourcing to ground, ground is down here on the cathode side and the anode side is connected to pin 1 there. And we have current limiting resistors on all three of those LEDs. Here's our reset on pin 5. I tie that up to plus 24 volts DC with a 20k ohm resistor. Now here are the inputs. On pin 2, that's your non-inverting input. I have a voltage divider right here. A 10k resistor up to plus 24 volts DC and a 10k resistor down here to ground so that we'll have 12 volts on pin 2. Pin 3 is our non-inverting input. And right now we're pulled to ground when the switch is open. We have 0 volts right there at pin 3. That's uh, 0 volts right here pulled down to ground with that 10k ohm resistor. When I push the button, plus 24 volts is applied to pin 3, the non-inverting input and that turns on that relay right there. Real simple circuit, not hard to breadboard, a lot of fun to test this IC right here. Now the nice thing about this IC, and you can't do this with every driver IC, you'll see in the, uh, in the test that we perform in just a little bit, but the nice thing is is that if this output shorts it doesn't destroy itself. There's internal circuitry that protects this IC from a short circuit on its output. <laughs> it's really nice right there. Okay. Let's go do the test. Here's the test circuit that I'm going to use to test that TDE1798DP driver IC. Now on the output, pin 7, I have a green LED and its current limiting resistor. Uh, here's the spike suppression diode. Make sure you put that in there when you're uh, turning on inductive loads. And here is a relay. So when this green, when we see this green LED turn on, we will hear and see this relay energized. Uh, the two red LEDs are alarm LEDs. Um, pin one, I have an LED and its current limiting resistor. Uh, pin one is alarm output source. Over here on pin 6 is another red LED 
that is alarm output sync. Now it's going to be a little bit confusing when we apply 24 volts to this circuit because this alarm LED is going to turn on. And this one over here is going to be off, but that's okay. Uh, when this one's on and this one's off, that's not an alarm. That's why it's a little bit confusing. Uh, when this one that's normally on, on the uh, alarm output source, when it turns off, there's an alarm. And this one over here, on the alarm output sink, when it turns on, that's an alarm. <laughs> so it's a little bit confusing, but they give you a choice of whether to source or sink those alarms. Let's test it. Short the output, pin 7 to ground. There's our alarm LEDs turning on. The output is turned off. It hasn't turned on. The green LED is off and the relay is de-energized. Let's remove the short circuit. And the output is turning on. That's a good IC.